Yo, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back to Europe Nation Reactions. I am Tyrone. Today on the channel, we have some more pitch meeting, and it is Maze Runner, Scorch Trials. One of my favorite films, okay? One of those, uh, was a YA, young adult um, uh, books, and um, I, I like it. I like it. I think it's, it's, it's one of the best upon the... Um, those those around that time from 2011 so it's probably about 2017 2018 they were really getting a lot of those ya books made into films but this one is really really interesting because it's dealing with like zombies and things like that and, uh, but it's like the end of the world <clears throat> type of stuff and uh but i think it's done clever it's done clever clever because we didn't know the mystery of what's going on until the end of the first film and now in this film we got to figure out like, how the heck they're gonna get out of this you know what I mean? but uh let's go ahead and see what ryan has to say about it. so you got a second maze runner movie for me yes sir i do and this one's called maze runner the scorch trials oh boy i can't wait to see some freaking maze running some running in mazes nope. i bet there's not any maze running in this movie though <laughs> that was more of a first movie thing okay well i can't wait to see uh some trials yeah well in the <laughs> book there were trials we're not really doing trials i can't wait to see some scorch whatever that is oh there's gonna be scorch or not really like in the book but there it's there i can't <laughs> wait to see the. Very <laughs> funny, sir. The was more of a book thing, though. We're not really doing the. Okay, just tell me what you got. Just tell me the script. Right, this so the good guys sense. escaped the maze at the end of the last movie, and now they're in this facility, right? And what's the deal with this place? Well, it's run by this guy, Mr. Jansen, and there are a bunch of other kids there from other mazes. Oh, well, that's nice. Yeah, so they're being held in there by armed guards, and once in a while, they choose some kids, and those kids vanish. Nothing suspicious about that, sure. Yeah, they're being told that they're going off to live on a nice farm. Oh, going off to live. Yes. on a nice farm is tight. Oh wait, that's always code for death. And so Thomas yes. finds out that the kids aren't actually going to a nice farm. Oh no! Their freaking blood's being harvested and these people actually work for the bad guys. Oh yeah, what were they called again? The evil or uh, the meanies? Wicked. <laughs> evil, right, just the straight meanies. up labeling themselves as bad. So how does Thomas find this out? Well this kid named Aris snuck him into this lab through some vents. And this guy's been in there for a while so he's familiar with the whole ventilation system. How long has he been there? Like a week. Wow. Yeah, so now Thomas and his crew, they have to escape. Is that gonna be hard to do? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, see, Mr. Jansen and his men have them surrounded next to this locked door, right? And instead of shooting them with their stun guns, Mr. Jansen decides to do like an evil monologue. Interesting strategy. And then that Aris kid opens the door behind them, because he was off in the vents and he knew how to do that. Oh, oh, oh Vent Boy, I love Vent Boy. So the good guys run away because they're being chased and they end up in this big old abandoned mall and Minho actually manages to turn on the power. Oh yeah, while you're in hiding, turn on the power for an entire shopping mall. That's a good idea. Is that sarcasm? No, 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 no. I'm just, I'm also very dumb. Oh, okay. And so then it turns out because the power's on, that leads to some dangerous stuff. What? Yeah, it turns out this what? place is freaking full of zombies, so they all have to run away again. Through a maze? No. Oh. So they all run away, but Winston, Winston gets bit. Oh no, Winston! Who's, wh who's, who's Winston? Winston? <laughs> oh, he was like basically an extra in the first movie. Oh no, Winston! Yeah, so he starts to turn into a zombie and so they leave him their only gun so he can, you know, take care of it. Wouldn't that gun kind of come in handy? Shouldn't they, shouldn't they hang on to that? Yeah, probably shouldn't have left that behind. These guys are making all kinds of bad decisions. So then they're walking in this freaking scorched desert and Minho runs out of water so he just tosses the container. There's another one. Oh yeah, so they're trying to find this resistance mm -hmm. group called the Right Arm that they heard live in the mountains. Okay, mistakes. and then they're gonna get chased by some lightning, so they end up in this building. Did you say chased by lightning? And Minho's gonna get struck by a lightning bolt. Oh my god, is he okay? Yeah, I mean, yeah, why wouldn't he be? Because the, the, the lightning. Sir, sir, lightning is more afraid of us than we are of it. I, I think you're thinking of spiders. <laughs> well, now I am. Oh, sorry. Why would you do that kind of mind trick on me? Now you're thinking of millipedes. Oh. Ah. <laughs> okay, anyway, then what happens? Well, they're gonna meet these two people, Jorge and Brenda, who say they're gonna bring them to the right arm, but then Wicked attacks. Oh no. Yeah, and so Thomas and Brenda get split off from the rest of the group, and then they get attacked by a bunch of zombies in a sewer. Uh-oh. And these zombies have, like, stuff growing on them. They make weird 
weird clicking noises. That sounds familiar. Sounds like... Yeah, I took it from this video game called The Last of yeah. Us. Yeah. Oh, it's from a video game. Okay, that's not yep. going to be turned into anything. That's fine. Then they run through that's the not gonna sewer be turned that into in, which leads them to a big old skyscraper drop. How? Oh. They shut up, and so then there's going to be this really <laughs> tense scene. Oh, yeah. Shut up. yeah. You know that scene from the second Jurassic Park movie with the bus and the window Ooh. and the cliff? Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, so I'm thinking... You know, that. that. Just just that. Yeah, we do exactly that. And so Brenda is on this window, and if she so much as moves, it's going to break, and she's going to fall It was intense, die. though. It oh, was super my intense. God. And so then a zombie falls on it, too. So it breaks. It doesn't. What? And then Thomas just hits the glass with all his might so that the zombie falls and he can save Brenda. So then Thomas and Brenda go clubbing real quick, and then they rejoin the group. Clubbing? Like, like they attack some zombies with baseball bats? No, they go clubbing, and they make out on the dance floor a little bit. <laughs> Why was there a dance club? And it turns out that Brenda... Brenda got bit by a zombie, so this lady uses some of Thomas's blood in a way that's gonna cure her for a couple of months. If their blood can already cure people for a while, why not just have regular blood donations instead of building a bunch of mazes? Hey, shut up again, and then Wicked shows up. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, Teresa called them. Why? Because her character wasn't interesting in any way, so this is something, you know, betrayal is something. It's more than nothing, which is what was happening with her. Fair enough. So then there's gonna be this big old fight, and Minho's gonna get taken. You know, I'm kinda shocked that kid's still alive. And so then we're all done, mm -hmm. it's over. Wait, I feel like we haven't really answered anything and we're already two movies in. Yeah, if you just kind of never no. answer questions, people will keep coming back for sequels. That makes sense. So what do you think? Well, I think it's a pretty good time. Sick. And hey, if we want that Mr. Jansen twist at the beginning to really work, we gotta really nail the casting on that character. Right? That's smart. Make sure we don't cast anyone that looks like they double-cross people. Exactly. He always does, though. <laughs> Game of Thrones. <laughs> He, that guy is a villain in everything, okay? Oh man, that was that was a good one. That was a good one. Uh, I wonder if they're gonna do the last one. The last one was probably my favorite one. I wanna say it is. You know, um, the third one was really, really good. But uh, my boy Newt, uh, RIP Newt. <laughs> but um, yeah, man, that was, that was good. <laughs> he said, why don't, why don't, if their blood can cure you, then why don't you have blood donations? Yeah, that makes sense, man. You, you pick out the plot holes. Pick out the plot holes in these films. Uh, great job, Ryan George. I really did enjoy it. Let me know what you thought about this in the comments down below. And if you like my reaction, hit that thumbs up because it really does help out the channel more than you know. And uh, if you are new to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And hit that notification bell to stay up to date with everything I do right here on your social media. 5,000 subscribers by the end of this year. It's gonna happen. Come on with it. Peace. Have a good one.